Hi, this is Sean Higgins. And in this video, we're gonna talk about specifically what is a tax lien property. In this video, we're gonna talk about what seems to be a tragic situation with delinquent taxes and actually turns into a triumph for everybody involved. You're specifically gonna learn what makes a tax lien property. How does a property get in a situation where you and I can make a substantial amount of money? Let me tell you about a substantial amount of money. At the very end of this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use a little known strategy within tax liens to acquire properties free and clear of all liens and encumbrances for four to 10% of the fair market value. So stick around and I'll share that with you. So let's talk about what a tax lien certificate property actually is. It's any property. So it's not specifically them going after, by the way, who is them? <laughs> I always love it. So you're clear, Americans are the most paranoid or, uh, country in the world. They, them, okay. It's not them going after anything. It's all properties have taxes, property taxes owed. It's a very simple process from a 25,000 foot view. So let's start with there and then kind of zoom down if you will. A tax lien property is very simple. Any property, okay, except for a nonprofit or government owned property, they don't pay any tax lien certificate. So a little history, if anybody goes way back when to the Blues Brothers in Chicago with the orphanage, that property, the reason they were doing the midnight run and all that good stuff was to get money for the penguins, the nuns, to pay the property taxes on the orphanage. Well, the Catholic Church doesn't pay property taxes, so that was kind of the whole premise of the movie was a misnomer, but that just shows what we're talking about. Every property out there has property taxes on it. Now, whether it's a nonprofit or a government agency, is irrelevant to this situation, but so it's not like only residential properties or only these types of properties, every property does. Which starts at the opportunity. So the opportunity for a tax lien certificate to be placed on the property is always there. So when a person fails to pay those property taxes, now either through their mortgage, so a lot of people will say, well, Sean, I pay my property taxes through an escrow account at my mortgage, okay but not everybody does. In fact, if you have that choice to pay it directly to the county, I would highly recommend doing that because what you can do is at least put that money into a somewhat secure savings account. I mean, there's some accounts that, as of this recording, they're paying five to five and a half percent. And then at the end, when your taxes are due, you pay that because that's what the escrow company is doing when you're paying it to the mortgage, just FYI. Um, number two, there's a lot of properties in the United States that are quite frankly owned free and clear, uh, or the mortgage company could forget. So how it gets to the point of not paying the property taxes is kind of really irrelevant. It doesn't matter how that happens. There is a mechanism that happens in every single county across the United States, including Guam, Puerto Rico, and the U.S. Virgin Islands. Okay, so anything that the United States is in control of has these. We are the only country that has a system like I'm speaking of here. Yes, Canada has a version, but you know, it's not the same. They don't have the same underlying security, and, you know, and it's Canada. They, <laughs> they think they still have their own money. Shh, don't tell them. And they play football <laughs> really weird. I'm gonna get, if you're from Canada, it's okay to put comments in there. You can tell me all the reasons why Canada is so good in your healthcare and all that blah, this type of stuff, okay? And if you don't like the video, just go like this. If you like the video, go like this. And if you get mad at me, but you still wanna hear what tax liens are, <laughs> just hit subscribe. And it doesn't matter, you're Canadians, you can do this also. So what it is is a property has failed to pay the property taxes on this. So again, there's a mechanism legally that happens. So the county in every single jurisdiction in the United States automatically puts a tax lien on a property. They cannot sell the tax lien until it's been delinquent one year. Now, not every county sells them in one year. About a little more than half of the counties, in, or states, I should say, in the United States, have a system that allows them to sell them immediately after one year, okay? So if that is the case, this is called a tax lien state. What that means is that the counties are authorized once the property owner has been delinquent one year to bring those up to sale. 
Now, because it's only been one year, you're not buying the property. You're simply taking the county's position as far as the one that being owed the money. Okay, the property owner probably doesn't even know that you're involved in this and it's really completely irrelevant. What happens is, is the property owner still owes the money to you get it, the county. So once the property owner comes in to pay those property taxes to the county, the county will process that. They'll see that you're the lien holder of record. And by law, they have to cut you and I a check within five to 10 business days for the full investment plus the interest rate on this. Okay, so that's what a tax lien property is. And this is the beautiful thing about it. A tax lien property can be obviously a single family residential property. Land, ha, huh, let, me, let me tell you, there is tons of profit in this. Think about this. If I'm in a financial difficult situation, the last thing I'm gonna stop paying is the taxes on my primary residence. The first thing I'll stop paying taxes on is a piece of land that's not producing any income. There's no revenue being generated for it. So if I'm looking at my financial thing, man, the storm is coming, so let's stop with there. So I go in there and I look at some of these things and sometimes there's complete subdivisions. Well, you'll find people that don't pay property taxes. Maybe the builder's gone under or whatever, or I'll find little parcels here and there that other people bought with the dream of building a house there and it never got completed and therefore I can go in there and buy the property for literally pennies on the dollar. Because I'll go in there and spend $1,500, $2,000 in back taxes, the redemption period comes and goes, I foreclose and I get a $30,000, $40,000 lot free and clear of all liens and encumbrances just for the back taxes. And then the, 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 the choices I can do from there just go up. So again, what type of property has a tax lien certificate on it? Anything. Um, I just saw a property I looked at, this was a couple of months ago, me and some of my investors were looking at it, and I go, I gotta go see this property. They're like, why? This is a commercial, I know this is gonna be nice. And it had sold at the previous sale for $204,000. It was a $3 million commercial piece of real estate, okay? This was a redeemable deed, so they had not paid taxes for three years. I don't know why, everybody wants to know why, I, I don't know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't change the fact that the lien was placed on this property. The lien was only $14,000. It was bid up to $204,000. The owners now have one year to pay this property taxes and a 20% penalty, not an interest rate, a penalty. So if they come in the day after the sale, they would have to pay $240,000. $4,000, in other words, $44,000 in interest immediately like this. So they went from $14,000 in delinquent taxes to $240,000 or a quarter of a million dollars, literally in a 24 hour period. Okay, there's a whole video I can do on that. And I'm looking at this thing and all my investors are going, this is amazing. I go, yeah, this happens all the time. So the type of property is anything. Okay, so when I'm doing my research and I'm looking at this stuff, all I'm looking for is value and lien amount. Okay, where am I going? And at what stage is this property in the tax lien process? Is it at the very beginning? Is it the lien state within the first year? Which means I'm gonna have a three year redemption period or less. Or is it at the very end where I buy the deed on it and I can foreclose immediately? Those are the factors that I'm looking at when it comes to this. But as you can see, the profit potential are literally unlimited. So let me give you a little tidbit, a little treat, a little bonus, if you will. Okay, Shh. don't tell anybody. I don't want anybody else watching this video from this point forward because this is double secret James Bond. Okay, what a lot of people don't realize is that I can use my retirement money Okay, as long as I have a private retirement account where I am the trustee and I am the administrator, I can go in and let's just take that commercial piece of real estate. Let's say I just left, I don't know, Southwest Airlines and I have a big chunk of money and I rolled that money, my, my retirement account into my private retirement account and I went in and buy, bought that commercial piece of real estate for $204,000 and it's worth $3 million. Four or five years later, I'm taking rent from this property. There were 19 units in there paying $1,800 a month. Do the math. 
Okay, I decide to sell that property, get it all rented up, get the rents up there, and I sell it for $3 million. What's the tax consequence of a $3 million sale in your retirement account? Oh, zero. It's actually illegal to pay taxes on it until you start taking money out when you retire. <laughs> okay, I can't make this stuff up. It's absolutely beautiful. We've been doing this for 30 years, and there's all sorts of things that you can do with this. Now, this is literally the tip of the iceberg. There's all of this stuff that we weren't able to cover in here. So this is the good news. Here's the bonus on there. I've got a brand new course that's going to teach you how to find everything that I'm just talking about for you and your family so you can do exactly what I just talked about. It's free. It's to you. All you got to do is go to Higgins, Higgins Method. That's HigginsMethod.com. You don't say Higgins twice. You say HigginsMethod.com, and I give you a free course on exactly how to do this. God bless and good luck, and we'll see you out there.